When I was training to be a journalist, reporting was about one thing, it was about words, conjuring up visual images um, with letters of the alphabet, essentially. Now, journalism is about something much more than that. It's about telling that story using the power of data. Data journalism is the use of key information sets, key data, key reference elements to inform a story. It's not the existence of the data, it's not just obtaining it and putting it out there. It's the processing that goes into it to work out what it tells you and you have to ask the right questions to get the right answers. You're not confined to just using text because you're a newspaper or just using a picture. You can do an interactive map when that's right. You can do a really helpful, clear picture when that's the way forward. It lets you tell a story in the way that people watching it, receiving it, will understand it and enjoy it. Nobody trusts journalists anymore. We're the least trusted um, occupation you can imagine. But if you can provide your workings behind the story, you can be open and transparent about that. It makes those stories so much stronger. Data journalism is the recognition of the power of measurement in helping public conversations and public discourse in general. Because numbers are so strong, it's not about opinion, it's about what's really there. So I think it's it's a modern way of doing journalism. And journalists are increasingly finding that the only way to get the best story now is to involve techniques that statisticians would have used 10 years ago. Using programmatic techniques like scraping, mining, statistical analysis on data to find a story. And then the other way is using storytelling techniques on data to reveal more patterns and trends. In 1948, the British government spent 11 billion in today's money on benefits. And this is stuff that is not just uh, of interest to readers, it's the stuff that will also hopefully drive policy, drive evidence, both politically and in the public discourse. The Facts are Sacred is about how we do data journalism at The Guardian. If you read this book, you'll find out how it works for us day to day, how we handle big projects, things like WikiLeaks or reading the riots, and um, how we make that data open for anybody to use. The Guardian really are the pioneers of data journalism, I would say. They were the first to have a data blog, as far as I'm aware and they've also had a, a strong root, a strong history in data visualisation. Data journalism's got sort of binded in ever closer at The Guardian. Since it was established almost as a curiosity just a few years ago, it's now part of the daily news lists and it's always something on the big moving stories or on the investigations that we try and bake in. There are now a number of people across the organisation who work with data every day, from the research department to uh, journalists working on specialist beats to interactive designers and people who visualise data for a living. And what we do, I guess, is we try and pull all that stuff together and provide people with a destination who are interested in data and interested, really, I guess, in finding out the truth behind the stories. I think data has become increasingly important these days because there's not only there's huge amounts of it, but also we have the tools and the ability to be able to really analyse it and f find patterns and structure it and reveal trends. So what is data journalism? Well, if you ask me, it's just journalism.